Welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. Pleased to be joined this afternoon by John Contact from West Red Lake Gold Mines. John, I had Tom on recently and talked to him, but there have been a ton of announcements and a lot going on even in the interim since I last spoke. So can you bring me up to speed on what the focus is for 2018? Focus of 2018 is going to be continuing to drill. We, uh, we've announced that we will be drilling in March. Uh, and we will be later this month, uh, and we'll take the results from that uh, drill program and look at the data and plan to drill another program on our West Red Lake project property uh, this summer as well. So we're going to be busy in the field in 2018 is what we're going to be doing, and we're funded for those programs. Good stuff. So it's the, I know you've got at least three projects there on, uh, on the deposit. Is it the Rowan project you're concentrating yeah, on? Yeah, we have the West Red Lake project property. It's in Red Lake, Ontario, on the west side of the Red Lake Gold District. It's a 3,100 uh, hectare property. There's three former underground mines on the property, all of which has a shaft. Uh, the Mount Jamie mine and the Red Summit mines, we own 100%. And on the Rowan Mine portion of our property, uh, we own that 60% and operate a joint venture that we have with Gold Corp. And okay. Gold Corp funds their 40% of the joint venture. We also have on that Rowan Mine property portion of our property, where we're joint venture with Gold Corp, an NI 43101 resource estimate. It's 1.1 million ounces of 7.57 uh, grams per ton grading. It's all close to surface, uh, within 500 meters of surface, most of it within about 350 meters of surface. So it's the type of deposit that you know, Red Lake Gold District is famous for to the tune of uh, 30 million ounces being produced over time, 18 million by our joint venture partner, Gold Corp. Close to surface, high grade, you know, underground gold mining. And what we're doing in 2018, our focus is just to go to depth and uh, right under the resource area uh, and endeavor to uh, expand the mineralized zones uh, down to about 1,000 meters, and, which is still relatively shallow in the Red Lake Gold District. And you're, you're looking at starting pretty much immediately, right? It's March, April you were talking about. We uh, have a camp and we have a great relationship with our drill contractor. Drills are getting tighter, but we're always, we always have a drill on the property. So we're just moving the drill and getting going yet in March. Fantastic, so investors should be watching for lots of news. We, uh, yes, we, uh, we're gonna keep the news flowing on the property. We're, uh, uh, we'll have data in, you know, in the, from the March drill program and then we'll be doing it again in the summer. And at the same time, Jeff, we're starting internal scoping studies uh, to look at the economics of the deposit. Uh, and also we've been working on the baseline uh, environmental uh, studies like the, the, the water sampling and et cetera. So you know, these are the type of things that uh, you know, ultimately uh, show up in the shareholder value and, and make it more valuable, valuable within the gold sector, which is what we've done in the past. We've made exploration and development projects uh, 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 valuable and, and uh, now they're being owned by people like McEwen Mining and uh, Osisco Mining, properties that Tom Meredith as executive chairman, myself and Ken Guy, our exploration manager, you know, we've done this before, that's a real key, we've done this before in Ontario Gold Exploration and Development. Well, you stole my line because I was going to point out you guys have the history with it. So, Anyways, thank you very much for the update and we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. My pleasure, thank you Joe.